I ain't took a shower in two days. <laughs> Grab them little pimples, you got to go. You know what I'm saying? Get on, go on back. Girl, I got me a new desk. When you a real deal CEO, when you a big boss, you need a big boss desk. <laughs> this is so good. What? I just want y'all to know it's possible to create this like in your own home with the kids running around, child. They ain't supposed to be here. Because we're going to get there. Oh my god, I'm so emotional! Yeah. Oh. Beauties, you gotta wake up, girl. And my baby. Mm, she be like, I wanna sleep with you. I be like, come on, girl. Sometimes I be like, I just want my space. I made this post on TikTok. Y'all gotta go see it. I, I have been so loving TikTok. Like, first of all, I'm over Instagram. I'm over them. I don't do Facebook, but TikTok, that's my spot. It's just so like raw and authentic and I love that. You don't have to make like uh, everything cute, you know? And I just like that. Yeah, but I made this cute little TikTok about Zara sleeping in my bed and it just touched my heart and changed my perspective. The TikTok didn't change my perspective, but it was Zara that changed my perspective at night. Cause she went to come sleep with me and listen, I be wanting my space. Like I like sleeping by myself. I like, you know, having a lot of my like little movie nights to myself and the kids be out there doing anything. But Zara, she went to come sleep with me and I was just like, okay, she's crying. Like just come on girl. And I'm like getting her all sleepy and stuff, rubbing her head. I'm like, Zara, what you want to dream about? <laughs> she said, you. Aww. I said, me? You want to dream about me? Like, that is so special. Like, girl, come on and sleep with your mama. And I just was like, you know, this baby. She won't always be a baby. Like, she's my last baby for now. And like, you know, she's three. Like, she won't always be three. Al and Isaac, I took them in and they go to sleep. And so I'm like, I'm just soaking up these last little toddler moments. Um, you know, because she won't always be three. But she'll always remember sleeping with her mama though. She'll always remember that. She'll always remember her getting her hair rubbed and being in her mommy bed and wanting to dream about me. <laughs> like I ain't supposed to be. I be real with y'all. I took a shower in two days. <laughs> I haven't. I've been in the bed stinking. Sick. A little sad. A little depressed. It's been a couple days so that shower was everything, girl. It was everything. And y'all, we gonna be having some new stuff added to Tierra J Beauty. So go check it out, your favorite beauty boutique, okay? Yes, y'all see we got the things. We know what the girls is is trying to get into. So yeah, this is like the bath um, facial set with the little wristbands and the headband. I love, 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 love this headband, y'all. I'm working on getting like some new bath robes too. Y'all know I have like the silk, silky robes, but I want... You know, like bath time robes. Um, and you know, that's what TRJ Beauty is all about. It's about beauty, okay? At home beauty, especially. So, I'm just so excited about the loungewear. Y'all stay tuned, because I will definitely um, be getting some more stuff added to the loungewear. For now, I just have, you know, the t-shirts, we got the robes, we got the slippies and stuff. So yeah, go and shop your favorite beauty boutique, your favorite black owned beauty boutique, okay? I ain't washed my face in two days. I kinda low key been breaking out. I just been using African black soap on my skin and it has been keeping it regulated. And also just drinking my water has been helping so much, but I've been kinda off track these past couple of days. Really, I've been off track since last week. <laughs> Just really not at my best, but we getting back to it. We getting back to it, you know what I'm saying? Grab them little pimples, you got to go. You know what I'm saying? Get on, go on back to where you came from. All right, we finally getting getting around to doing something this week. Y'all, I gotta find some new freaking pictures. This looks so bad, like. First of all, me, Avery, and Al did these spray paint <laughs> paintings, and they not bad, but I just think this is more so like, 
it just don't fit the vibe you know like i might actually put these in the boys room i think that's actually what i'm gonna do because i'm trying to give them a new theme in their room anyway but anyway that one ended up falling down oh poor baby sorry she been over here sick too i think she is who got me sick because it's just lingering around for her because she can't um you know blow we working on that she can't blow her nose so anyways po baby po baby i'm making her some tea right now but anyways one fell off the wall and i just been so raggedy having this other one up here just and they don't even go anyway so that was, i'm glad i seen that just now because let me just go ahead and take them down so i could be forced to put something else up there <laughs> but um yeah i got my little energy it's a mushroom elixir energy drink energy and focus sparkling dragon fruit lemonade yeah, they're pretty good i had one before show gave me some energy i used to take the um mushroom shots it's like the lion's mane cordyceps mushroom and y'all yeah they used to give me energy like crazy so i'm back on my mushrooms taking mushrooms so yeah i gotta get into this we getting into it today look at this raggediness and this inventory office room i'm sick of it and you know like trj beauty is relaunching has started i don't stop started a little soft um relaunch but yeah i'm going all the way in with my rebrand relaunch so if you haven't checked out my website go check it out it's so cute shout out to artish okay artish design my graphic designer my brand coach oh go spin it she does the thing like honestly my sister um and i'm not shouting her out just because she's my sister like she has really helped me bring my business to life i just tell her something and then she go create it and then i'm like that's what i was like that's exactly what i was trying to do like she is just so so good job zara but yeah she is just so so good at what she does y'all so she is the the face behind all my branding my relaunch like she helps me with everything like when i got a business question i don't know what to do like should i mark it like this should i brand it like this like how should i go she is her she so she do all the graphics so go and check out my website it looks so cute i just love it and yeah y'all know i launched my loungewear just my t-shirts for now but this is the other one y'all can see up close it says hey beautiful i love this like simple my shirt is a little wrinkly y'all but y'all get the point i just love like the little simple statement tees is so cute and i am working on getting a new material i like these t-shirts they they're good but like i want a tighter fitting like jersey type of material so when y'all start ordering you can expect it to be like a soft um like hug your body type of material and that's really what i'm going for with my lounge wear it's just you know what I'm saying? Like it hugs your hugs your curves. It feels nice and soft. It's like a big hug. You know, like a like a huggable t-shirt, huggable loungewear. Um, I'm working on getting some new stuff in this inventory. Y'all see here? She's about to upgrade. We're gonna go do a little upgrade. Um, and I'm just about to get everything together. So I think I'm gonna switch uh, uh some things around. This is like my and y'all, I don't know what happened to I was vlogging and I was showing like y'all my backdrop. This was like, I think last week's vlog. But I was showing y'all my backdrop, taking pictures of my um kinky straight bundles and I don't know what happened to the footage. It just got deleted. But I was showing y'all that I made my own little like studio space. So I just used this little clothing rack and I hung up this and then I hung up the bundles, take the bundles up like right there. And that's how I take pictures of my bundles. Like girl, yes. And I'm gonna show y'all more. I think I'm gonna film like a um, inventory office room tour. <laughs> so y'all can really see the inner workings of TRJ Beauty and how I do everything and the systems that I use that help my business to run. And yeah, I've been at work for it. Honestly, I gotta shout out to my girl Shani because she is the one who helped me create this system that I use now. And so, and it's literally just our system. like no fancy software i use google sheets for everything um of course i got my website that i could put everything into but like as far as my system my setup girl it's the the physical inventory the the flash cards the little you know just cards that we write on and google google sheets and so 
I'm gonna show y'all a little bit more in depth because I want you to know you can be a CEO too, okay? Like, let's not play it. Let's not play it. We are CEOs up in this beat, okay? So, CEO Tiara gotta get it together because I just been, look, I haven't even been in here doing what I'm supposed to do for my rebrand, which is launching in two days. So, I'm playing, I'm playing. But I'm so excited. Because let me show y'all what I've been really waiting on though. The main attraction, what we've been waiting for, girl. I got me a new desk. Shout out to Flexi Spot. They sent me this desk and we just gonna, I'm not gonna even say much. We just gonna unbox it together. We gonna set it up. I finally can get rid of, um, <laughs> No, we about to open it. We finna open it right now. I'm about to finally put this up. Um, I finally found me a chair that I like. Because I needed a new chair. Because y'all know I moved my beauty room from down here to upstairs. So, anyway, I got a whole new desk for... Yes, you can help me. Thank you, Zara. I would love for you to help me. You so sweet. But... <laughs> I think it's like the perfect desk for like working for real. It's huge as y'all can see. It's the movable. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see. So we about to finally get it together. Put it together my chair. Cute little, cute little, you know what I'm saying? Ah, so freaking cute. Yeah, let me show y'all the specs. The cable management thing underneath, and that's like all the cords that are. I think I put this on wrong. Figure out how to rink it dink. Uh, see, you know what? I will figure this out later how we get them up there nice and neat. But let's just get into the desk because. This is like my dream desk. Look how low the desk is though. Like, this is honestly such a great desk because it can be for everybody. I mean, like, mine's is for me. Y'all ain't coming in my office. But <laughs> unless y'all want a job, listen, I, I be hiring my kids. But yeah, it's just like the fact that it could go so low and be for kids and be for the whole family is just like so cool. Do y'all see? It? Okay. We're gonna take it up high. <gasps> oh! oh shut up now she's still going stop playing with her flexi spots working at home editing all day when i have my edit days it is just like so draining i be sometimes falling asleep <laughs> i needed this i needed this not even just for editing but when i'm um, packing orders, I always find that I just need to be like moving more or like it's just kind of difficult sitting there trying to like pack an order when you have like all your different things. So the fact that I can stand up and like, ah! oh my gosh, I love this. And I have so much space. Like, do y'all see this space? Y'all see how big this desk is? I'm gonna put all the details of my desk down below. But I wanna say I got like the 73 inch, so it's like the biggest size. Um, I got the bamboo top. Y'all see I have the white frame. And I'm just in love. Let me see, I'm gonna put it down low. So we can, you know what I'm saying, sit down and start our work day. Hey, I like this so much. Oh my God. I feel like I can actually like maximize my workflow now. Like when I sit down, and I'm brainstorming and I'm like, you know, doing new campaigns and just uh, everything. This is gonna be my creative zone, like creative work zone. And I'm so excited about it. Do y'all see the office coming together? Like a real deal office. Like I really feel so much better having like a real desk. My other desk was cute, but it was more like, if y'all haven't seen it, go and check out my uh, closet transformation. But You'll see my desk up there is more like a vanity style desk. Like it's small, it's cute, like it's a little luxurious type of desk. But when you a real deal CEO, when you a big boss, you need a big boss desk. Honestly, what kept me from getting like a big desk was that I just didn't like any of the desks. I want something cute, you know what I'm saying? I want something my style, but I just couldn't find that everything else was more like 
just too officey and too like y'all know too too masculine and so y'all i found it with the flexi spot like i found it this is it this is she this is our dance girls we found her okay and i want to do the seat test because i heard that you can sit on these dicks Okay. Hold on. Can it lift me up though? Flexi spot for the win. Okay, y'all make sure to click the links. Down below, get you a flexi spot. You know what I'm saying? We big boss energy this year. We need a big boss desk, okay? So shout out, huge shout out to Flexi Spot. Thank you so much for sitting and sponsoring this beautiful desk. Ooh. I love it and I highly recommend it. So y'all go check them out, Flexi Spot. Wow, Lord, that's beautiful. <laughs> that is beautiful. You look beautiful or out of you do that? I do. I made it out of Wow, I love it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, no, y'all see what we finna do? Y'all see what we finna do? So I'm thinking of what I can put like here on this wall, especially since I had a mirror here. It was on my little vanity, so it got like some holes. It's just ugly. But when I'm sitting at my desk, I want to be inspired. You know what I'm saying, Zara? So I'm gonna make a vision board, honey. Yes, I'm gonna make a couple vision boards. One for my business. I'm gonna make another one for um, content creator stuff, and I'm gonna get a third one for like family and just personal. I'm about to go crazy. So yeah, I'm about to start working on my vision boards, and I will show y'all. I think, I, like I said, I'm gonna just do like a full inventory office um, transformation video because I'm I'm gonna switch this up just a little bit, um, and I really want to show y'all how I do everything in house you know what i'm saying i just want y'all to know it's possible to create this like in your own home with the kids running around child they ain't supposed to be here but you know what i'm saying you could do it with the kids and all okay so yes i'm so excited for this space to finally be coming together like it's i could just see it i could just see it ah, i'm so excited ah. okay little update on the vision board we almost got quarter one finish i decided to break it down into quarters because i'm real serious about this vision board and it ain't gonna be all cute i really i wanted to focus on making like realistic goals and like writing down how i'm gonna make that happen you know what i'm saying so from here i can look at this every day and just you know start planning because uh, we're gonna get there i'm trying to get tiara j beauty to be a six figure business by the end of the year so i just believe i could do it and it's just stuff like this that's like it, it makes it so possible you know so i'm just excited girl it's so cute i put my little um i cut a little piece of my ponytail off <laughs> i just want to make it like super real for me you know like yes kinky straight i know i didn't spell straight right y'all i didn't have enough space but you get the idea like i'm just adding like my new products here when i finish i'll show y'all like all the deets and like how i really broke it down you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying it's been a long, long day a long look it looked like it been a long day a long day coming but i know <laughs> am i dizzy delirious what's going on sleep gone Oh, yes, it is. Well, the day ain't over. Mom life, mom life, mom life, mom life. Gotta get the kids showers and get them in the bed. So, let's start this night routine and then. Oh, my ears are hurt.
keep the human it gets cold, but you know Sometimes everything just gets hard Sometimes everything just gets hard out here Like, I just, I'm just being full. Like, I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know where these tears are coming from. I just, I feel thankful. Just, I feel a little sad. I feel like, I just feel so many things right now. I don't even freaking know where is this coming from. I'm just, I'm so emotional right now. Like, and I felt this all day. Like, just this gratitude for being here right now. Like, I don't think I've let myself, oh my God, <laughs> stop. I just don't think I've let myself sit in, like being proud of me. And it's like, I'm nowhere where I like wanna be, but I am though, like, because baby, um, I think this came about last night. Like I was looking at old videos my old vlogs on my family channel and I was just like wow like that was really me like I'm at this point in my life where I feel like like that younger me was just so so long ago and it was just I, I'm just looking at her like <laughs> all I could do is thank God because y'all like I don't even think I realized all that I was like going through back then but like I was going through so much but I was in such a I don't know like I don't know I just was in survival mode I was just in and not that I was in like this survival mode all the time I just was so like naive and just like Man, it just was, it was just, it's just one of the moments where I'm like looking over my life and just like, I kind of, I just want to like, I just feel like, oh my God, I need to stop. Oh my God, I'm so emotional. But like, I just felt like myself. This almost 30 year old Tierra, like giving her a hug and just like, like this completeness about like what I didn't know then about my life and like what I didn't know like I just didn't know like I never imagined 
me being here right now and I say that like because I thought like this was like my life ending up like this was not it wasn't in my plans like I wanted to be married like I wanted to you know like I just I didn't imagine me being a single mom and like and so I just feel like when it started to happen like when I was going through my divorce which girl I feel like I'm just finally in a place where I can even like talk about that because I'm healing and I've healed through so much but like when I was going through it I was so sad like and I don't even think I would like let myself sit in that or just like really shown that like but I was so broken I mean heartbroken just so sad so like feeling like a failure and at times them feelings will still try to come up and be like girl you failed but like so like God is just showing me like that he really had me through it all he really had me through it all I, I see now like how God just worked and like worked all of my life out through me through my bad decisions through my my pain and my heartbreak through my disobedience through everything God showed me myself through my highs too not saying I didn't have good you know I was doing my thing listen I kind of was grieving that like damn like I used to be in this mode where I just was like I was on top of it like I, I was doing my thing you know I made a lot of money I saved a lot of money like but even through that God like showed me myself and it is such a beautiful process it's the process of life it's the journey of life when you just allow God to lead you and God to show you and that's the only difference between my life then and now is that I'm just finally like surrendering to God like I'm done driving like God take the wheel you are smarter than me I can't touch the sky I can't touch the clouds God got this God got me and so just submitting to that being in the flow of God don't give me the shout it it is so beautiful it's so powerful it shows you like your human weakness and how it's it's okay to be weak it's okay to just say I don't got this and so man that process in my life just me saying yes is like I'm just so proud out of myself just me putting my hands up that's all I had to do it's not even about like because honestly these past few years like going through my divorce girl after the divorce just healing and everything where I'm at now has been tough it has been the toughest thing I've ever been through and it's not like I'm proud of myself for anything other than like just deciding to like make this decision to allow God to lead me and I'm just so proud of that like oh my god and it's hard do I mess up yeah like but y'all I just I'm just so proud of being here I'm just I feel like I'm giving the younger me a hug and just like showing her now you know and that even then everything is gonna be okay Oh my god, I'm just so full of I don't even know right now. So full of emotion. <sighs> Y'all, God is just God is so good, so good, so good. And I just hope that my journey, my life, y'all, it's hard. I I had one of them days like my head hurt. I'm tired. I'm wondering how I'm going to do this. But it's like it is just so worth it. It is so worth it cuz life going to be hard either way. But it's just so much better when you give up the fight in life you know it is always gonna be a fight you know but when you trust in something bigger than yourself which is God love it just oh it's a journey it's a journey good and bad it's a journey but it's so worth it it's so worth it so I just want my life to show you that like I don't know what people look at me and see but like y'all I just hope you see God like I that's all I hope because I'm only here today by just surrendering to God's infinite wisdom and love and grace. Um, and so I'm just so happy. I'm happy.
I'm thinking I'm sad. I thought I was sad, but no, like I'm really happy. I just thank y'all for being on this journey with me. Um, from the bottom of my heart, thank y'all so much. Um, God bless y'all. God keep y'all. May his peace and rest cover you. And may his wisdom guide you. It's always there. It's everywhere. All you gotta do is tap into it. So, I love y'all. God loves you so much more. Thank y'all for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll catch y'all on the next vlog.